Welcome back everyone. Today we're out on a hike in the woods, Royce and I. We're doing a little bit of foraging. Nice to get back out again into the swing of things. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at what I'm foraging for today. Well, I'm out here today uh, foraging some flowers. So some red clover for my tea and also some milkweed flowers. Here's a beautiful example of the milkweed flower and the milkweed plant. This is the common milkweed that I'm talking about harvesting. There are some toxic varieties. Um, even common milkweed has to have special preparation, especially for the pods. So uh, here we go. I think I'll take some of these for pan frying and battering. I just want to show you right there, there is uh, what I believe to be an egg from a monarch. So uh, they've already laid their eggs on the milkweed and the caterpillar will spend its life on this plant eating the leaves and then they'll uh, form a chrysalis and form a beautiful butterfly that'll go south this winter isn't that cool also as you can see in the center there there's some yarrow out and uh that is really good to collect and dry really good for styptic you know if you were to um have a small cut or something like that really good to crush the leaves and put it in the small wound uh, it stops the bleeding pretty fast because I'm harvesting some delicate things today, I don't really need to bring a huge pack with me. And if you're doing some light foraging or some stealth foraging in an urban area, you may want a smaller foraging sack to bring with you. Maybe you don't want to ram it in your pocket. Maybe you want something nicer to kind of put on your belt. So I want to show you a, a leather foraging pouch that I made for myself recently, and I love it. Uh, I'll take you inside in a moment and show you how I made it. But let's take a look at it. So there it is right there. A nice little uh, leather pouch, super easy to make. And all you gotta do to get to your pouch is open the snap and it goes like that. And you can just uh, put all your stuff in there. You can see that really well. So this is all recycled materials that I had laying around my house. So scraps of leather, some snaps I had left over from my canvas wall tent project. And that little pouch there, that's actually from my Thermacell uh, insoles <laughs> that used to store those. So super easy, great for carrying uh, light forged items, you know, like small berries, flowers, uh, some of your medicinal herbs. So uh, let's head inside. I want to show you how I made this because this is a project you guys are going to love. So on the craft table, I have all that we need here. You know, I have some scrap leather. You can pick whichever one you want. I think I'm going to pick the uh, suede in the middle there. It's nice and supple. Also, you'll need uh, some tracing paper and a pen and scissors, of course. I have a little hammer because, of course, I'm going to be putting in, uh, as you can see there, a fastener. And I've got some tacking glue and some artificial sinew with a needle and a little thimble for my, for my thumb. And I've got this here just to, just to punch holes in the leather to make it easier to sew. And what am I going to use for my foraging bags? Well, I've got a couple of options here. Uh, we've got the little mesh bag there. You can get the grocery store for, you know, your fruit and veggies. I have this leftover bag, the black one there on the right. That one's actually from my uh, Thermacell shoe inserts, but I think it's actually a great size, uh, very lightweight. And I think I'm going to use that one because we'll just be folding it up and putting it in our uh, foraging pouch. So how the foraging pouch is going to work, uh, as you can see, this is the one uh, pouch from my heated insoles, but it's the right uh, thickness, it's sturdy. Uh, what's going to happen is that you're going to roll, this is going to be rolled up within a little leather pouch I'm going to make. So it's going to be kind of like that. And then um, the shape of the leather that we're going to cut out of our tracing paper is like that. So this uh, is about three inches by three inches, kind of like a cross shape all the way around. Each box is about three inches by three inches. So you can see this is gonna fit in the middle and the leather will kind of fold up around the pouch like so. And it's gonna go like that. And then we're gonna put a snap right there and then a little belt, uh, belt uh, loop on the back. So this is gonna be our little stealth foraging pouch. And uh, let's get started. So what we wanna do first is of course, trace out uh, this pattern from your tracing paper. I've gone ahead and done that already. And now we're gonna trace that out onto the leather. So, so I've picked out uh, that I'll be using this leather right here. As you can see, I've already, I don't know if you can see that, I've already kind of traced it out. So super easy, super simple. Uh, this will be a really quick project so we can get out in the field and do our foraging. So this is a uh, deer leather. I've got elk here at home as well. It's a bit stronger leather. I have some, some cow hide as well. This is really nice to work with, super easy. It'll be easy to stitch. Um, when I'm working with elk hide, it's uh, obviously 
pretty um, pretty tough to sew through. Alright, so we're not making too many cuts here. I'm just going to cut out the corners of this piece. You know, you can find leather scraps in some craft stores. Um, there's a big leather outfit around here, so I'm very lucky that I can uh, get all kinds of scraps in the scrap bin. There we go. I just like having something like this, uh, just like a smaller pouch, you know, just to uh, do a little stealth foraging. You don't always want to bring those big baskets with you, especially if you're just getting like seeds or some herbs or something like that. You don't need to have like a giant basket. So you can just kind of put this on and uh, basically go. All right, so it looks like that'll do the trick. And I'll just show you kind of the idea here just to make sure I've cut the right bit of fabric there. Perfect. Awesome. So it's going to look like that when we're all done. All right. So, um, oh, and I want to say keep some of this because you actually we're going to be sewing um, just a small loop on the back so that we can put this on our uh, our belt. So actually, let me just cut a piece of it out right here right now. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit wide so it's uh, nice and sturdy. Just a strip like that. There we go. So nothing goes to waste. You can save these for some other things like, you know, patching knees on kids clothes or elbows or whatever. So there we go. So I'm going to sew this on next. Um, I'm just going to kind of mark this off in the center here and then we're just going to sew it on. All right, so I'm just going to kind of line it up in that general area right there. So this is going to be the back. It's going to do that so I know what I'm doing. And to make this easy, I'm just going to use this punch right here. You can see it's got a few little teeth in there, uh, three millimeter punch. And I'm um, just going to just put it along here. Well, actually, maybe in just a little bit. Just bang, give it a good bang. So it goes through. Probably don't even need to do this, but you know, whatever. Just makes it so much faster and easier to sew. Okay, perfect. So now you can see little tiny marks right there. And uh, you can just line that up and then we'll start sewing. So what I have uh, to sew is uh, some artificial sinew. It's just really sturdy stuff. If you have some real sinew, you can use that as well. And I also have a, uh, a large uh, leather needle here. You can see it's got the little three edge. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the three edges on it. Super sharp. Uh, so it goes nicely through our leather. So I'm going to start on the inside so it hides the knot. So I'm just going to go into one of these prefab holes that I've made. Go through one of these prefab holes I made. This is where the little leather thimble works really well. So you can take it through. Then I'm going to go through one of the holes I've made here on the strap. There you go. All right, so the first one is in and we just kind of keep sewing all the way along like so. So I've done the first side and I'm just doing the bottom half here of this little strap. So much easier if you pre-punch these holes, everyone. I think that'd be <laughs> highly advisable. You can always get those kind of tools at leather working stores or craft stores as well. Just makes your life that much easier. And this will go so much faster. It's just a matter of kind of finding those little holes and lining them up. But this doesn't take too long at all to get done. I'll show you how I kind of tie them off at the end. You know, I pull through a final bit of thread and I kind of grab uh, one of the loops of the previous stitches and then I kind of go around a couple times and then I pull it all the way through to make a knot. Sometimes I'll do it again, go through that little loop there and then just tie it off. And then we're basically done with that. So the uh, strap is on so you can put this on your waist belt. Now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, we're going to sew just a part of this bag, not both sides obviously, just a part of the bag 
into the leather pouch uh, just to kind of go along uh, just this part right here just to kind of secure it into the the leather pouch so remember you're not going to go through all the way because when you open it up you're not going to be able to <laughs> put all your forged goods in there so you're just going to want to sew through uh, about you know three inches by three inches just on one side of the top of um, top of your foraging bag not the bottom okay we'll do that next again what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a few little holes to make it easier to go through the leather while i'm doing this So I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of see just around the peripheral areas there, I have uh, used the punch to kind of put in little areas so I can sew. Um, one good thing you may want to do to secure your pouch in is to make an X-like pattern, uh, so sewing like an X. The other thing you could do uh, is just use a little bit of this glue and kind of glue in there um, just to kind of make sure everything's really secure and you're not relying completely just on the... Um, the stitches on the outskirts of the pouch. So you can decide either way which way you want to do it. Well, after about half an hour or so of sewing, it's all done. Take a look. So that's how it folds up. And uh, right in there, you can see my handiwork, my sewing. So I didn't do the X in there. You know what? It's really, really sturdy. Um, the sinew and the leather really grabs onto this fabric. Maybe if you had a lighter fabric like those um, veggie and fruit bags, you may want to do that or use the glue, but I think it turned out okay. So you can see on the back there, I've got all the stitching and then my belt loop there. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a snap because um, we want to be able to hold this all together um, for when we kind of fold this up. So let's show you how to do that next. So this is going to see how this kind of folds up like so. And these go in like that. And then where the snap's going to be, uh, it's going to be holding it like that. So we're going to have a snap right there in the not in the middle, but uh, just a little bit up on the edge, maybe a centimeter up. All right, so I'm going to flip it over and just do, I'm going to flip it over and just measure there. I'll put it right there. And then uh, you're going to want to use an awl or something to just punch the hole in there for your snap. And we're going to measure on the opposite side too, where we want to, where we want to put it. I also have this leather punch right here, which will help me put a little, in the small setting, just to do a small hole in here. All right, so now with my little hole popped in there, you can easily um, insert, insert your snap, and then. Um, we're going to use this obviously and the other part of it right here to, to sort of bang that on then we'll do the other side of the snap as well all right so once you have your hole um, in the top part of the pouch there for the first part of the snap you're going to want to fold it up um, how you're going to have it so you can see where to put the other part of the snap so i'm going to fold it up nice and tightly there and i'm going to use my pen and uh, just kind of mark that little hole there so you can see that's where I'm going to want to punch the hole on the other part of the leather. And now that one's done as well. All right, let's install the snaps. I did so many of these when I did my uh, canvas wall tent. It's crazy. I'm kind of a pro at this now. And then last one. It's kind of go like so. Make sure you got the snap the right way. Oh, that's backwards. Don't do that. <laughs> Good thing I checked. Because then you have to just pick these out if you do it wrong. So yeah, you want it to go that way, right? So it goes and snaps. So let's regroup. You pop this little guy on here and then we just hammer it down. Perfect, turned out great. So let's fold this up and see what we've got. Just takes a little bit to roll up there. Alrighty. Oh yeah, right on. 
All right, there she is. Isn't that awesome? Nice and stealth little foraging bag. Beautiful little snap to hold it in place. And then you put on your belt buckle there and boom. Let's go try this on. Well, I think that looks really good. Take a look. I'm gonna do this one handed, but boom, there you go. Instant foraging bag. Perfect. And it's got a little drawstring at the top so you can kind of walk around and uh, have it on your belt. How cool is that? Super easy project. So really enjoy these minimalist foraging uh, trips. Just like a knife, maybe a whistle, water bottle, and uh, my small little foraging pouch. I think it's awesome just to kind of get up and go. And it's stealth, you know, you don't have a, you know, if you're on a more um, a public forestry tract uh, that you're allowed to forage on, you don't get people asking too many questions as to why this giant basket is on your waist. You know, with the other one that I have from ADK Baskets, I've had a little kid ask me if there was fish in it or something like that. I think he was from the UK and did a lot of fly fishing and uh, thought that I had fish in my basket in the forest. It was pretty funny. So something like this, this little pouch, um, it's pretty easy to be stealth about it and it's not a lot of weight. I don't even feel it on my on my belt actually. So it's super nice. One modification I would make that you may want to make with yours is that uh, I probably put a little piece of Velcro or a tiny snap on the inner leather. I find that most of the time it stays okay with just the one snap, um, but if you're really bushwhacking it around, sometimes I find these little side pieces flap out. So that might be a little modification I'll do for this one too. Well, I hope you guys liked working on today's project. Something really quick and easy. Under two hours you can have her done and then head out into the woods and get your favorite wild edibles and medicinals. I hope you all have a wonderful week this week. Get out in the forest and explore. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.